Hello everyone. Here I will introduce to everyone the constructions in Minecraft created myself. It's because I built these works myself. Looks beautiful and majestic, doesn't it? Looking at these massive buildings, do you think you are a very good builder to be able to build so beautifully? I'm really bad at the building. I build a house in survival mode which can also cause it to be the wrong size and skewed. But why am I able to build these huge buildings with bad construction skills? In this video, I will show you all. I think you know all of these characters, right? And I believe many people want to build beautiful buildings but can't build well. I don't dare claim to build better than professional builders. But to guide you to build buildings like this, I can do it. Start the video. To be able to do this you need to have the following. First is Blender, second is OBJ to Schematic Converter, I'll leave it in the pinned comments. The third is the World Edit mod. And finally the Lightomatica mod. First, we will come to Blender. Here is a 3D model that I downloaded on the internet of Naruto and then edited to look like Naruto's six paths sage mode picture. I think you also find it beautiful, don't you? It would be even better if included in Minecraft, but to be able to do that is not easy. I then added resources to bind it to be able to proceed to the next processing step. Please save the file in OBJ format to be compatible with the software. Then comes the second step. That is using software called OBJ to schematic which I will leave it in the pinned comments. Add the saved OBJ file and then load it, you will see the model displayed in the next section. Then you will perform the size selection for the model. For easy understanding, it coincides with the block height of the model when included in Minecraft, then the step of converting the model to the pixel state. The higher the index, the clearer and most similar the model in the pixel state. However, if it is too high, it cannot be built in the normal world because the height limit in Minecraft is 320, and the low area in Minecraft is already higher than 60. After that, it is converted into a block in Minecraft. The software will process and select the block with the closest or most suitable color to put in Naruto construction. I recommend you switch the settings back to the same as mine. That is using colored block in lab. It will help the schematic become more beautiful and color standard. After converting, you can see that these blocks have all turned into square blocks in Minecraft. Looks very familiar, right? Now your task is to save it in schematic format only. Then you go to Minecraft and use World Edit and edit the building you just created. You can follow my command and remember to learn how to use World Edit, it's very helpful. If you don't edit it that's fine, but your build will be very difficult and will have to use a lot of different types of blocks. Moreover, it also includes sand blocks that will fall when built, so please fix them properly. This is the construction when you put it into Minecraft. As I said, it's pretty nice and even. But I'm still not satisfied with the blocks and especially the eyes. If you love perfection then looking at messy blocks will be very annoying. So let's fix it together. The first is to use the command to create an invisible selection, created by two points that can contain the entire block of that structure. By measuring and adjusting for accuracy. You then use the POS command to specify those two locations. The reason you need a selection is that you can only modify or replace the block in that selection. You can see here the orange color is made up of lots of blocks from orange wool or orange concrete powder. Now I'm going to replace it with orange concrete for color sinking. As I said it might not be pretty but it's a lot easier to build. Because you don't want to build hundreds of thousands to millions of blocks and confuse blocks with each other. To do that as you can see I use the replace command, one of the popular commands of the world edit mod. To fix such a project will take a lot of your time. But if you want to have a beautiful project to complete, this is the right thing to do. The details also need a bit of rebuilding because the software can't make it perfect. Next we will have a mod called Lightomatica. This is a mod that helps you to show schematics in 3D view and of course it will be very convenient for construction. This is a very good thing to help newbies build better. Because it is impossible to build a large building without a blueprint. It's the same everywhere, 
in real life or in the game. So these mods were born to assist you in that. Because it's just a 3D show, you can get inside very easily. Currently I am using shader but when building I think you should not use it because that will have a better building experience because it will not be mixed with as many colors as when using shader. This mod has very interesting functions like detecting wrong building or building wrong block. Each type has a color to distinguish from each other. Purple is to distinguish the wrong place. The red color is to distinguish the error of building the wrong block. With this, you can build anything in Minecraft without fear of making a mistake. Great. Now I'm going to show you the buildings in 3D so you can have a better idea of how I built them. One important piece of information I haven't told you yet is that the mouse will help you get blocks on the 3D slideshow without having to go to the block list. All are designed with shortcuts for you to use and build with it. Here you can see the process of building the super giant models that I have created in schematic form. Let's see what we have. Okay, and that's how I build amazing buildings or statues in Minecraft. I recommend it to you, and I hope you like it. Now if you find my video good and useful, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more great videos in the future. Thank you very much.